Hi guys, so Heidi here. Thanks for watching. Today I'm going to show you some really, really simple tricks about how to turn a image into a pattern in Illustrator. So this may be a photograph you took of a swatch of fabric or something you found online that you just want to mock up or maybe you even purchased a print and it came as a JPEG file and you want to turn it into a repeating pattern within Illustrator. Super simple, really easy tricks. Let's get started. All right, so I'm actually gonna start in Photoshop. I know I don't do a ton in Photoshop, but there is a couple things that are really easy to do in Photoshop as opposed to doing them in Illustrator. So we're in Photoshop. I'm gonna open the pattern, file open, and I just have here a JPEG that I saved from the internet. So I just found the image on the internet. I said right click, save as, and I saved this pattern swatch. So it could be a JPEG, a PNG, whatever it has that you're working, whatever it is that you're working with is fine. So I'm going to open that within Photoshop and I'm going to crop this. So with my crop tool selected, it's over here on the left hand side of the toolbar. C is the shortcut to grab that. I'm going to zoom in a bit and I'm going to crop one perfect repeat. Now this pattern is, I could kind of crop the repeat anywhere as long as I just kind of come nicely to the edge and I sometimes I'm fussing with this sort of jumping around so I just want to crop this right about there and we'll zoom out if you had a repeat you would want to identify the exact repeat on this example as I said I have some wiggle room and I just want to sort of crop to the edge of the diamonds or they're really triangles right so once I get that aligned, and on this one, let's see, is that going to work? I don't quite think that's going to work because of how this repeat is. So we're just going to have to fudge it because we don't have a full repeat, and that's okay. Um, it's not going to look absolutely perfect, but this is going to be the case a lot of times. You might not have a full repeat. So if you don't have a full repeat, uh, you'd either manually create the full repeat within Photoshop, which I'm not going to go into in this tutorial, um, but we're just going to be able to do this really quickly. So once I've cropped it, I'm going to hit the enter or return key on my keyboard. Now I can do a couple things. Um, the first thing I do, do notice though is over here on the left, I'm not really happy with how that looks. There's that little yellow line and that's going to show up in my repeat. So I'm going to crop this again and I'm just going to crop in a little bit tighter on the left hand side because I don't want to have that yellow line. And I'd rather kind of, um, actually we could probably just bring this in all the way to about there. Just crop that whole side off. All right, that looks much better. Now, what I can do is a couple things. I can really simply do Command or Control A to select everything, and then I'll copy it, Command or Control C to copy. I'm gonna jump over to Illustrator. So on my keyboard, I could do that by Command Tab or Alt Tab if you're on a PC. I'm gonna jump into Illustrator, and then I'm just gonna paste Command or Control V, and now paste it in. Now, alternatively, let's jump back over to Photoshop. I'm going to save this, okay? Command or Control S in Photoshop, that's fine. I don't even, it doesn't need to be maximum, that's fine. We'll just leave it as it is. Choose OK. Come on, there we go. That's saved. Now, I'm going to jump back over to Illustrator, and I'm just going to move this over to the side because I want to show you a couple things within Illustrator. If you didn't have to crop the image within Photoshop and just kind of copy and paste it in, I want to show you how you can get that image into Illustrator. We're going to come up to File, Place. And from here, we have the pattern that we just saved within Photoshop. And I'm just going to choose Place. Now, depending on what version of Illustrator you're in, it might have sort of loaded it to your cursor. It might have also just dropped it directly on your artboard. Um, I think that changed in maybe CC 2000, maybe just CC. I forget exactly which version, but that's okay. If it loaded it to your cursor, just click to place it. Now, you'll notice a couple things. This image has an X running through it. This image does not. And there are two different types of raster or pixel based images within Illustrator. So we have one that has an X through it and one that does not have an X through it. The one with an X is a linked image. What that means is that 
it is not actually part of the Illustrator file. Illustrator is just remembering the file path of this artwork and it's linking it in from that original file. You cannot turn a linked image into a pattern. So if you're trying to do that and it's not working, that is the reason why is because this is linked. Now that's fine, you can easily embed the file and what the embedded file looks like over here without the X through it, what that means is it's actually part of the Illustrator document. It lives inside of this Illustrator file. So I'm gonna select this one here. I'm gonna come up to Window, uh, Links. And from this, you'll notice there's a couple different things that look different in here. First is the pattern.jpg that I have selected right now does not have this icon here like the one below it does. The one below it has this icon and what that means is that that's actually an object within the art board, uh, within the file. So that this little icon here shows you the difference between linked and embedded images. Um, what we can do is with this pattern selected right here, we can come up to this drop down and we can choose embed images. You'll notice the X goes away, that icon has now changed to that little graphic, and we're all set. I'm going to close this out. I'm going to undo that because I want to show you one other way to do this. Most of the time, depending on how your workspace is set up, with this object selected, you'll have the embed option pop up right here at the top control bar. So you can just click embed, and now that image is part of your workspace. From here, we're going to open our swatches panel. And I'm going to drag this out here so we can see a little bit better. And what I can do is simply drag this image into the swatches panel. And you'll notice it turns into a pattern swatch. So I can move these two. Let's just give ourselves a little bit more space to see. I'm going to just grab my rectangle tool. doesn't matter what it is. I'm just going to draw a shape to show you how this works. And I'll give it the fill color of the pattern. You now see we have the repeat. And again, as I told you earlier, the repeat isn't perfect, but it's more than good enough to mock up our artwork or to create a simple design using this pattern swatch. So very easy, get your image into Illustrator, drag and drop it into the swatches panel and you're all set. Thanks for watching guys, I'm so Heidi. If you haven't yet, check out, my, check out my site and put yourself on my email list. I give you tons of free stuff. You find exclusive videos there that I do not put on YouTube, lots of free downloads, and I'd love to get to meet you and get to know you there. All right. Thanks again, guys. I'm so Heidi and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.